Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy and this is Subhalakshmi. Today we are going to talk about Oxbow Lake. What is this? This is nothing but the work of a river in its course. Then how is it formed and where is it formed? Let's find out. What is an Oxbow Lake? An oxbow lake is a crescent-shaped lake lying alongside a windy river. It was formerly a meander in an adjacent river. When a meander is cut off from the rest of the river, it becomes an oxbow lake. The oxbow lake is created over time as erosion and deposition of soil change the river's course. Look at this site. This is an oxbow band at Mount Moran in Grand Teton National Park, USA. Isn't it beautiful? Now the next question is, how is an oxbow lake formed? Oxbow lakes are formed through the following steps. Rivers meander because of the process of erosion and deposition where sediments are taken away from the outside bank of the river, forming a curve and deposited on inside of the bank due to slower flowing water. Meanwhile, water on the outside edges tends to flow faster, which erodes the banks, making the meander even wider. Eventually, the neck of the meander is eroded completely and river takes a new straight path. Have a look at this diagram. This is the part of the river where the erosion is taking place on the outside of the bank. This black color comb like symbol is showing you the erosion whereas this yellow color is showing you the sediment deposition in the inside of the bank. As the erosion is faster at the outside of the bank, the neck of the meander is becoming narrower and narrower and eventually the river will take a straight path after joining the two meandering point. Deposition builds up between the river channel and the former meander and eventually completely cuts off the meander from the river channel forming an oxbow lake. Have a look at this picture. Have you seen these two bands? There is a strong possibility of forming an oxbow lake here when these two bands will join at a certain point of time after heavy erosion and leaving an oxbow lake behind. Look at this muddy water of an oxbow lake. There is a heavy greenery surrounding the lake. Maybe a good habitat for wildlife. Oxbow lakes are still water lakes. That means the water doesn't flow into or out of them. There is no stream or spring feeding the lake and it doesn't have a natural outlet. Oxbow lakes often become swamps or bogs and they often dry up as their water evaporates. Have a look at this picture. This is again a beautiful view of an oxbow lake band. Have you heard the name Vyantela Lake in Kerala? This is the only naturally formed oxbow lake in India. This is located at Vyantela in Trishur district of Kerala. At the end, let's have a brief idea about the ecology of oxbow lakes. Oxbow lakes can be rich wildlife habitats. Along the Amazon River in South America, oxbow lakes are common and their still water provide a unique habitat for plants and wildlife. Oxbow lakes may also be suitable locations for aquaculture. They contribute to the health of a river ecosystem 
by trapping sediments and agricultural runoff, thereby removing them from the main river flow. However, this is destructive to the Oxbow Lake ecosystem itself. They are also vulnerable to the heavy metal contamination from industrial sources. Look at this Oxbow Lake. This is Chupichor Oxbow Lake in West Bengal. This is a very rich wildlife habitat. A flock of carmorant migratory birds flying in wetland of Chupichor Oxbow Lake, which is created by River Damodar and Ganga in Gangetic Plain in Purvastali Bird Watching Place, West Bengal. And that's all for today in this video. I hope you enjoyed my video and understood the concept as well. For more update, please subscribe my channel and like and share my video. Thanks for watching. See you again with another interesting topic. Till then, take care and have a good day.